Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial on this look right here. I think it's perfect for Christmas, either Christmas Day or if you're going for a Christmas work do or dinner around Christmas time. I just love a red lip and I don't normally wear a red lip, um, but around Christmas time I think it's absolutely perfect. But if you want to know how I created this makeup look, then please just keep on watching. So if you want your makeup to last for a long time, like all night if you're going out all night, especially during over Christmas if you've got like work Christmas dues and you want it to stay like in place all night long, it's very important to prime. Now if you get oily, um, even if it's just in the T-zone or if you've got quite oily skin, I like to use this Auburn Matte Cream. This is so good. I've been using it loads recently because I absolutely love it and I just put this in the places where I get oily the most, which is in like the inner sort of triangle of my face. So this like mattifies and sort of like blurs out your pores, so makes you look nice and airbrushed, which is a plus. I don't like to use too much. That is literally just all I use, because um, a little does definitely go a long way. So I just rub it into my fingers, and I apply this everywhere where I get a little bit oily. So chin, de definitely down the nose, and the end of my nose, I get the oiliest the most and then under my eyes slightly and also on my forehead a little bit but this really does mattify my skin and I absolutely love it and it smells amazing and it feels amazing too then even though I do get oily I still like to put highlight on my face so I use this um, MAC strobe, strobe cream this is the pink light I believe yeah pink light and I literally just take a little bit, just like that much. And then again, I rub it in the ends of my fingers. And I like to apply this everywhere where I would normally apply the highlight. So that's like hugging my brow, my forehead, and then down onto the cheekbone. And again, the other side. I don't put this down my nose because... I know I will get oily, so I like to just minimise that by not putting any sort of highlighting products, something that will make my skin more dewy. Um, as I don't get oily in these areas, that's where I like to apply something that will make me look nice and dewy. But if your skin is on the more drier side, then I would forget the um, or boring matte cream and I would just apply the MAC strobe cream and I would either apply that all over my face or mix it in with my foundation CC cream BB cream tinting moisturizer whatever you want to use and that will make your skin look nice and glowy moving on to my base I'm going to be using my magic foundation in the shade uh, 3 this is by Charlotte Tilbury ignore the cap I um, put sellotape on it when I was going away because these lids like come off so easily um, and I didn't want like the foundation to come out so I put sellotape on it and then when I removed it it removed all the all the like the rose gold whatever it's called on it but oh well so I'm just gonna dot this all over my face like I normally would then to blend that out I'm gonna be using this Morphe um, Kabuki style brush it hasn't got a number on it because when it comes in like the packs they miss out the numbers for some reason um, like the names of them uh, but I'm just gonna blend it out with this I absolutely love this brush. I especially like it when I'm doing like cream contour. When I'm using um, the MAC, sorry, the Chanel, Soli Tandy Chanel, I absolutely love it for that. It just buffs it out so nicely. And it's just such a nice brush. Any sort of like Kabuki style brush is really, really good for any sort of like cream products. It just buffs it out so nicely. For concealer, I'm going to be using the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. I absolutely love this. You barely need anything. Um, it is a full coverage um, concealer and I believe it is waterproof. Yeah, anti-aging waterproof concealer. Beautiful. Now this is quite thick and it is really full coverage. Like you barely need anything and the little really does go a long way. 
So I've just put the smallest amount on the end of my finger and then I've like rubbed it together with my two ring fingers and I literally just dab this under my eyes just to help me blend it out and I put that right into the inner corner because it helps me get rid of that blue that I've got like blue veins in the inner corners of my eyes and they're so like nothing covers them they're so blue um, so I literally just try and blend as much as I can out with my fingers and then I just go back in with my foundation brush or if I'm using a beauty blender that day I just go back in with my beauty blender just to help me blend it all out and I'm literally just pressing over the top and it's so brightening which is really good and it does really get rid of that blueness which I'm so pleased about because I've I find it so hard to find anything that actually covers that blueness in the inner corner of my eyes. This is amazing. I really do recommend it. And it is so affordable. I'm just gonna apply a little bit on my chin just to purely just to brighten up the area. Also in between my eyebrows and like forehead area and then just what is ever's left down the nose. Now moving on to bronzer, obviously I'm going to be using my Chanel. This is Soleil Tandy Chanel Universal Bronzer. I absolutely love it. As you can tell, I definitely need a new one. Again, this brush is perfect for this because it buffs it out. It just makes it so airbrushed. I think it is just this brush. It's just so good. Um, I like to just swirl it around. I literally use this brush for every cream product. It's amazing. So I pick up some of that and then I like to just press this where I need it. So I like to have it on where I'd normally contour as well, but a little bit higher than that. On the apples of my cheeks, that's where the sun would naturally hit us. And then taking that on the forehead and like hugging the eyebrow. And this just warms up the skin nicely. I love, recently I've been putting just every day, even if I'm just not really doing anything, but I know I need to put some makeup on, but I can't really be bothered. I put concealer on and then I just put this all over my face and a bit of powder and literally I'm done. It just pulls you together and it actually makes you makes it look like you've done a lot of like work. It looks like, oh, your makeup looks really nice, but it literally took me like five minutes. Every time I literally just put this on my skin, everyone says how good my skin is at the moment. I'm like, yeah, I know, it's amazing, but it's not. It's literally just this. Because I know if I didn't put this on, everyone would be like, oh my god, are you okay? Like, what's wrong? Are you ill? No, I'm just pale. Then the last cream product I use on my face is the MAC uh, Pro Longwear Paint Pot, and I use this as an eyeshadow base. This is in the shade Soft Ochre, and I like to just take it with my finger and just press that over my eyelid and I take that right up to the brow. I love the Pro Longwear Paint Pots. If you have oily lids and your eyeshadow just does not stay on, it like moves and creases, um, I really highly recommend this. So good, it makes your eyeshadow stay on all day long and it does not budge. If you get oily lids, use this because it just does not budge. I then like to take my RCMA Translucent Loose Powder, love this, my favourite translucent powder. I like to just buff out all the creases under my eyes. And then I just dip my brush into the loose powder and then I literally just press that underneath. So I have no creasing under my eyes and I know they're not going to come back. If I do this with a pressed powder, it doesn't set it properly, they come back, just doesn't set it for a long time. But loose powders, just keep it, and it's kind of like a mini bake, like I don't put tons on and then I wipe it off. I put quite a bit on my brush and I literally just press it in until it's all into the skin. And then I know it's not gonna budge, the creases aren't gonna come back. And then to set the rest of my face, I like to use the MAC Studio Fix. And literally just press that all over. Just to set all the creams. 
And then recently under my eyes I've been loving this Laura Geller. This is a Baked Balance and Brighton Foundation in the shade Fair. So this is a powder foundation and I literally just pick up just a little bit on my brush and I like to just dust that under my eyes and it just gives it like a really nice airbrushed finish. I'm going to quickly fill in my brows with the Legend... Oh my goodness. I'm going to quickly fill in my brows using the Legendary Brows by Charlotte Tilbury. This is in the shade Bridget. I need to get a new one. This is literally like on its last legs. But I love this. It sets them and it kind of fills them in just like a little bit. Just fills in all the gaps for you. If you don't really need to do too much to your brows then I would suggest to get this because it does fill them in just ever so slightly but it sets them as well. For contour, obviously, Kat D Shade and Light, pick up this middle shade, which is very loved, I need to get a new one. And I'm just going to contour with this, so I'm going to take that into the hollows of my cheekbones, and then blend it up, just to blend it out. And I'm also going to take that on my forehead as well, slightly. I like to be nice and bronzed, especially in winter, when I'm so pale, it just makes you feel so much better. Just taking that same middle shade, I'm going to use this to contour my nose. I like to go right into the like start of the brow and blend that across into my crease just slightly, and then whatever's left, I like to just drag down. And then it kind of looks like natural kind of thing. It's not too harsh. And then for blush, I'm going to take my BH Cosmetics 10 blush palette. I haven't actually used this in quite a long time. I'm going to go with this like mauve kind of one. I'm actually not going to do too much blush. It may be a mixture of this, these two. I don't, I'm not a massive blush wearer, um, but just to keep, bring just a little bit of colour to my skin, add a little bit. I mean, some of you probably can't even see that I've even got blush on, but I can see it's there. <laughs> like some people like a lot of blush, some people don't like blush at all. Some people only like a little bit, like me. Like I can see that's there, but maybe to you, you probably can't see it at all. But I like it. And then lastly, for the face, for highlight, I'm going to be using my Makeup Revolution Radiant Lights highlight. It's like pearly, it's so pretty. I used to use this all the time and now I'm bringing it back out because I absolutely love it. And I've just realised I haven't got my highlighting brush. So I'm just going to have to use this. So I'm just going to pick up some of that. I'm going to pop that on the high point of my cheekbone. And also I like to put it on the for my forehead a little bit, just like hugging the brow ever so slightly. And just a tiny bit on the apples of my cheeks. Ooh, that is so pretty. Love it. And then I'm going to take a smaller brush. This is a smaller, just flat shader brush. Pick up a little bit of that and highlight down the bridge of my nose. I literally cannot do without a nose, nose highlight. Literally just finishes off the look. And then at the end. I'm just going to pop some of that on my brow bone as well. Just to make that pop. Okay, so moving swiftly on to the eyes. For today's look, I'm going to be using my Zoeva Matte eyeshadow palette. It's got these really nice warm cr some cranberry tones, some plummy tones, transition shades in there and perfect I think for this time of year. I love warm looks especially for Christmas. So I'm going to be using this palette to create whatever I'm about to create. I have no idea. I'm just going to go with the flow. I don't know whether to do a red lip or, or not. I've got this um, red matte lip from Revolution such a pretty colour. I'm just going to swatch it on my hand. 
velvet velvet cream such a pretty colour um, but I don't know whether to do a red or a just a nude but depending on what I'm going to do with the eyes because I have no idea um, I'll decide the lip after so for my transition I'm going to go in with this shade right here it's called Urban Culture and I'm going to blend this into my crease from the outer corner right into the inner corner of the eye and blend it right up towards the brow Then just using the same brush, I'm going to take this shade right here, it's called Eerily Empty, which is slightly darker than the one that we've just used. And I'm going to apply that on the outer half of my lid. I'm actually just pressing that on where I want it to be, and then when it gets to the edges, I'm just blending them out. Just blending that into the crease just a little bit more as well. I'm literally just taking this probably, I would say, about halfway onto my lid. I think I'm leaning more towards a red lip, I think, just that I really want to use that shade, that red lip, red matte lip from Revolution, I haven't used it before, and it's been sitting in my drawer for ages, and I just really want to use it. Just using a pencil brush, I'm going to go back to that first shade we used, and I'm going to run this under my lower lash line. And then taking that second shade that we used on our outer half of our lid, taking that under the lower lash line as well, but only literally at halfway, just so it hugs and shapes the eye. I'm then just going to take this, this is a smudger brush by Zoeva, and I'm going to grab this, it's like a dark purpley, it's got like a purpley tone to it, in the shade 2 clocks. Tap off the excess. And I'm going to run this really close to my upper lash line just to smoke it out just a little bit on that outer half. Just sort of like lines the eye nicely and creates a semi-smoky look because we are doing a red lip. We don't want anything too harsh and heavy because I feel like it's way too much. Um, especially for like when you're pale you don't want anything too bold. Especially when you're doing a red lip, you want it nice and softer. Um, but this just creates like a really soft, smoky look. I think it would look really nice with a red lip. So for this eye look, I think I'm going to keep the lid all matte. So I'm going to pick up this, it's like off-white kind of colour. And I'm just going to press that onto the rest of my lid. Just to kind of brighten it up. And just to make the eye just appear like a little bit larger. So I'm literally pressing that over like the transition of the two shades. Then I'm going to go back to the blending brush and really lightly just blend it across. Just so there's like a really nice soft transition. And then applying that just using a really light hand into the inner corner of the eye. Then to brighten up my inner corner as it's Christmas I do like a little bit of a little bit of glitz, a little bit of shimmer. Um, I'm going to take this Dose of Colours. This is Pixie Dust. This is the Dose of Colours Eye Duo Loose Pigment and Primer. So the top is the primer and at the bottom is the loose pigment. So what I'm going to do is I'm literally just going to pick up the primer with my ring finger. And I'm just going to press that into the inner corner of my eye where I want the loose pigment to be. And then just using my little finger, picking up some of that pigment, and I'm going to press this over the top. Ooh, it's so pretty. Love that as a highlight. It just really opens up the eye. Love it. So I'm going to do the same on the other side. I very rarely do like an all matte lid. Um, but I really like the fact that it is all matte and then like the inner corner is like the pop of like pigment. It looks so cute. For mascara I'm just using the Max Factor 2000 Calorie Dramatic Volume Black Mascara. Then for false lashes I'm going to be using the Ardell Demi Wispies. Then lastly for lips, to line them I'm going to be using this NYX liner 
in the shade Ruby. When I know I'm using a red lipstick or a red matte lipstick, I like to fill my whole lip in with the lip pencil just because, just in case the lipstick does come off, I know I've got that base and it won't look too bad. So then I'm going to use this matte red lip from uh, Revolution in the shade. It doesn't actually have a name, it just says FRA01. Pro Pro Supreme Matte Lip Pigment. I don't know. Feels really nice so far. It looks, feels really comfortable to wear. Like it feels like I haven't got a lot of lipstick on. Sometimes with matte lips, I can really feel it on my skin, on my lips. But it feels really comfortable so far. So this is the final result. I all hope you enjoyed this Christmas look. It is so easy but yet so effective. Like I haven't actually got that much makeup on but with a red lip it really makes it look like you've made an effort. I think it's perfect for if you're going to for a Christmas work do or like dinner around Christmas time. I love like the all matte um, lid with just that pop of pigment in the inner corner. It just really brightens up the eye. Um, but yeah, I all hope you enjoyed this makeup tutorial. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up if you did and please don't forget to subscribe. Also don't forget to click on the notification bell down below so you'll be notified every time I do new videos.